certainly we're disappointed about the outcome of this past game, but um, you know, this week we cannot overlook Liberty, and we're not. Uh, they're a good football team, um, you know, and they're, uh, they would love nothing more than to beat the University of Virginia. Um, so we are extremely excited for the opportunity to play them, and the message is we've got to be 1-0 this week. You know, there's a lot of noise about um, you know, what could be, uh, but nothing's going to happen unless we take care of Liberty this week. I hate to almost say this in some sense, but my education at the University of Virginia, I think the best part of it has been playing football, and I think I've learned the most from it. Um, you know, 20 years from now, I'm really not sure if I'm going to remember our, you know, some of the econ graphs that I had to draw, but I, I will remember some of those team meetings, and I'll remember those freshman Fridays, you know, 5.30 in the morning where I had to push weight or lift weight or, you know, run another sprint. Um, so love sports, and I, I love supporting um, – you know, other athletes at Virginia, especially because there are such incredible people here. Uh, I remember being like in a class with Tara Vatisse my first year. And, you know, you think this, this girl is just extremely, you know, she's so nice. She's so normal, but then you figure out she's like an Olympian and like, you know, an absolute stud, like an all American her first year. And you just never know it. So uh, you got to get out there and support Virginia athletes. I think there's, there's not a better uh, university in terms of the combination of athletics and academics. Uh, you know, last week it was a short week, and this week we kind of just uh, had an extra day, and um, I think that helps, especially uh, guys recovering. Just next week mentality, um, I try to take it into account, like, um, you know, at the NC State loss, you know, I was just like, you know, okay, it happened. You're never gonna give it. You're never gonna get it back. Just uh, focus on the next week. That's all you can do. And uh, I pointed out, you know, we are uh, we're not too far ahead from last year. I mean, we're six and three, just like we were last year at one point. Now, uh, how are we going to finish it? You know, frustrated, mad. Um, I don't know, for lack of a better term, pissed off. You know, I, I, I'm. It's personal, but but I know a lot of guys feel that way. Um, you know, we didn't play our best game. Pitt, Pitt played really well. Um, they deserved to win that game. Um, but yeah, you know, we. Uh, we're, we're mad. We're um, and we're we're gonna take that and build off that and get better. So first for me, um, sort of having non-conference this late in the season, um, but I mean, it really doesn't change anything. Our approach, our mindset, anything like that. You know, we're still um, the biggest game's the next game, and that just happens to be Liberty. So that doesn't really change. You know, preparation. Um, like I said, mindset or attitude, you know. When I was younger, my dad was coaching at Boston College, and we live about 40 minutes away. And, you know, if he didn't leave early enough, that 40-minute drive turned into two and a half real quick. So I was always wanting to go into work with him. I'd beg, you know, beg him all the time, every time I could, if I didn't have school or whatever. Even if he didn't have to work, I'd beg him to just take me in. So he'd, he'd say, all right, you can come in, but you got to be ready to get up early. And I was, since I was young, I've just been getting up early, and it's kind of all I've known as far as like what it's like to be a part of a college football program. I haven't necessarily got a scouting report. I watched them. They, <clears throat> New Mexico State was fortunate enough to beat them this year, and uh, that was a good win for my dad and their program. But um, yeah, he's he's said that you know they score points, and like Evan said, they they're not afraid to come to a Power Five school or you know, come down the road to UVA and give it there all. So we got to be ready. And uh, he'll actually be at the game this week because they have a bye. So he's going to fly in, which is nice.